Okay, sorry about that. Not sure what happened. Um, but you just want to put your syringe down in the little hole in your foil. And then just slowly, slowly draw that up to avoid those air bubbles. And then you're just going to remove the stopper on your blue. And I recommend laying that stopper on a paper towel because it's going to have just a bit of excess ink on there. Just don't lose the stopper. I lost one up here one night and uh, it took me a while to find it because they're tiny. But then you just want to inject that very slowly down into the cartridge. This part is kind of fun. It can be a little messy, but it is fun. Um, this must have more than the yellow because it's Feeling like it's filling up slower or something. Maybe it's my syringe that's feeling different. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think maybe it might take just a little bit more ink, actually. So, if it does, just get you a little bit more up in there. And, of course, any extra that you have left over, you can just squirt back into the ink bottle. No problem. Just another reason you want to go slow, though, is because you don't want to overrun these. Because talk about a mess. That's messy. So I think that's going to be just about right. So then you're ready to put your stopper back in to the blue. Just mash it down in there. And the blue is ready to go. Now, the good thing about these, um, the ink cartridge, the, um, syringes, they clean it with just, um, water. You know, you can just, um, draw some water up the syringe and squirt it out and you're ready to go. Now, I'm just removing the stopper from the red, or magenta, rather. that top back on the blue and then using a clean syringe every time I sound like I'm talking about some kind of dope but I'm not I don't know much about that but just I got that hole in that foil a little bit bigger just draw that out I hope it's picking up on camera. I think I have my big old fingers over there. But, and then just find the hole where the stopper was. And, and you can kind of see the, the plastic is clear enough that you can kind of see how full you're getting. So you do just want to be real careful not to overrun these because um, that is kind of a pain. And then you... You know, you can clean it up with a paper towel, but you do just need to make sure that you've got something protective down over your surface. Um, and that's about it. Just, you know, when you get these full again, you just maybe want to dab off any excess. And then they're ready to insert back into your printer just the way you would a normal ink cartridge. And then the, the trick at that point it's just um the first time you insert these you got to make sure the right um print drivers are installed on your computer because if not that's going to cause you some problems but it's it sounds a lot more complicated than it is to convert a printer but there's actually not much to it if there was i couldn't have done it so i'm sure if i can do it so can you so again if you're interested in um sublimation printing why not give it a go especially if you already have the heat press it's really fun and it's really easy and I think um, you could probably get a printer for less than $300 I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll try to think and link the um, an Amazon site that has one just like the one I have um, in the description box but anyway um, I'll be back to show you how I press one in just a second.
Okay, so I create most of my images in Canva, which is, um, you can get the free program or the paid. I do the paid now because I do a lot with it, but the free offers a lot. It offers a lot of free images and free fonts and just a lot of things to help you get started. So what I'm gonna do right now is just, um, I've created this design and we're just gonna download that. And I download those as a PNG. Let's just close on that and then go down to where it downloaded. And then you want to go up to your toolbar and choose flip horizontal. And that's just going to flip it so that when you print it, it will be going the right way to be able to press it onto your shirt. So then we're just going to print that out with our um and sometimes you can um set it to fill the entire paper and make it just a tiny bit bigger depending on the image so let's print that and i will be back in just a minute to show you the pressing process it's just really simple 